we're going to work through it. Okay. We're going to get through it, and we're going to get our confidence back. The dog can get you to calm down before you start thinking suicide or danger or, or the enemy. Then you're able to recover faster. The mission of the Top Dog Canine Foundation is to provide services and support, including service dogs, to the combat and disabled veterans. So I joined the military in 2008 in the Army Reserve, and then I was deployed in 2010 to Iraq. Even though we served in Operation New Dawn, it was supposed to be the end of the war and it was um, clean up. Um, there was nothing quiet about the 12 months that I spent there. So um, we got bombed on a regular basis. So you're always on high alert, um, just running to your bunkers on a regular basis. So um, that stress, it never leaves you. You know, you remain jumpy and alert to every little noise that you hear. You make it home, you're kind of happy and you don't know that you've changed. You don't know that you're different and you don't know why you're short-tempered. You don't know why you're overly emotional. We realize the need since myself have suffered from depression and anxiety since the age seven. And, and throughout life and how a dog changed my life. So I realized that um, there was a need for the veterans that are coming back home, transitioning into civilian life. Distance between dog and leg should be between six to eight inches. When you're depressed or angry or you have anxiety, it puts off a smell that a dog can pick up. It also puts off a vibration. You change from where you are. These, these feelings and emotions have smells to dogs. And once a dog gets it, then they can target it before you actually go into a deep depression or anxiety. And they can come over and we call tucking. They'll come uh, to the center and they'll tuck their head deep in here to force you to pet the dog. That dog blocks that veteran from being aggressive. And that when that veteran touches that, that dog, it's kind of difficult to pet a dog and be angry. We can't do this alone. It's, it's, it's a village, and we need these organizations, and especially like Jackson Healthcare, who understands mental health and, and, what, and what we do. Anybody can write a check. The Jackson Healthcare is hands on. One of our rules for puppies, by the time they're six months old, they have to have been pet by at least 100 people. It's no coincidence. I think there's hope for me to recover, to um, feel like myself again. And that's what I want, ultimately. <laughs>